and welcome to root to mathematics in this video going to solve this interesting question so here we have given calculate iota to the power 51 plus iota to the power 54 plus iota to the power 57 divided by iota to the power 61 plus iota to the power 64 plus iota to the power 67 okay so here iota represent the imaginary values okay so Without any delay, let's just start the solution. So, we have given iota to the power 51 plus iota to the power 54 plus iota to the power 57 divided by iota to the power 61 plus iota to the power 64 plus iota to the power 67. Okay. So, here one thing you can notice that the powers are all in 50s. Right. So, in the next step, I can write iota to the power 51 plus this iota to the power 54 as iota to the power 51 plus 3 plus. Similarly, iota to the power 57 as iota to the power 51 plus 6. Okay. Divided by iota to the power 61 plus iota to the power 64 can be written as iota to the power 61 plus 3 plus iota to the power 61 plus 6. Now, we know an exponential law that is a to the power m plus n is nothing but a to the power m multiplied with a to the power n. So, applying this rule in both numerator and denominator, we have iota to the power 51 plus iota to the power 51 multiplied with iota to the power 3 plus iota to the power 51 multiplied with iota to the power 6 divided by iota to the power 61 plus iota to the power 61 multiplied with iota cube plus iota to the power 61 multiplied with iota to the power 6. So, I can easily take iota to the power 50 common in the numerator and iota to the power 61 common in the denominator. So I can write iota to the power 51 multiplied with iota multiplied with 1 plus iota cube plus iota to the power 6 divided by iota to the power 61 1 plus iota cube plus iota to the power 6. Okay. So, both the terms are same. So, this to get cancelled out. So, we have iota to the power 51 divided by iota to the power 61. Okay. Similarly, again, we have iota to the power 51 and iota to the power 61 can be written as iota to the power 51 plus 10. Okay. So, iota to the power 51 divided so, applying the same exponential rule, we can write iota to the power 51 multiplied with iota to the power 10. So, this two term get cancelled out. So, we have 1 by iota to the power 10. Okay. So, we know that iota square is nothing but minus 1. Okay. Now, taking 5 power both side of equation, we have iota square whole to the power 5. And here, we have minus 1 whole to the power 5. So, here applying the exponential rule, the power get multiplied. So, we can write iota to the power 10 equals to minus 1 to the power 5. So, we and we know that minus 1 to the power n equals to minus 1 when n is odd and 1 when n is even. Okay. So, here n is an odd number. So, Minus 1 to the power 5 is nothing but minus 1. So, we will just put minus 1. So, we are getting i to the power 10 equals to minus 1. Okay. So, here we have 1 by i to the power 10. So, we can write 1 by minus 1 which is equals to minus 1 is our answer. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Thank you.